What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. Happy Friday. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Okay, all that good stuff. So I want to talk to you today because I just found out that the club kid killer named Michael Oleg died of a heroin overdose. Now we're going to get in his business in just a few seconds but um yeah that was the headline reading you know it happened this morning on christmas so let's just jump right into it now i know some of you if you're from new york and you know about the club days and stuff like that and you heard of his name um he was arrested years ago for murdering his drug dealer so we're gonna get into his story okay so here it is notorious manhattan club promoter Michael Oleg, who spent 17 years in prison for murdering and dismembering his drug dealer, died of an apparent heroin overdose on Friday. And this was confirmed by the officials, okay? Michael was 54 years old. He lost consciousness inside his Washington Heights apartment on West 159th Street by his boyfriend about 3 a.m., officials say. The ex-con was doing heroin shortly before he died. And his boyfriend told the police that, okay? The medics found him dead at the scene. Okay, he was already gone. And <clears throat> that's kind of... That's... that's, that's uh, it's just unfortunate. You know, he died on Christmas. Let me just tell you something. The most terrifying news and bad news always comes around the holidays somebody is always dying somebody is always it's just always something and it seems like things double up when the holidays come it just seems that way to me i could you know i could be wrong but that's what it, i feel like things happen a lot around the holiday time and it seems like it's double double of it but anyway let's get further so we're going to go back, we're going to get into his, you know, life a little bit. In the in the late 1980s and early 1990s, Michael ran a number of Manhattan clubs and was the ringleader of a group of club goers known as the Club Kids, okay? And they're the ones who really uh, optimized New York City club culture at the time. Um, I remember them. In 1996, he pleaded guilty to the murder of his drug dealer, Andre Angel Melendez, and served 17 years in prison, okay? He got into an argument with um, Andre, right, which ended with a friend, Robert Freeze Riggs, bashing Melendez with a hammer. Michael then poured Drano in Melendez's mouth and taped it shut as the body lay in the bathtub. Jesus. The murderous duo later chopped up the corpse and dumped it in the Hudson River. Now, I don't know if you, how you listen. I know I have some New Yorkers on my on this on this video on my channel. I remember this like it was yesterday. I remember reading this in the paper. I remember this also well. Um they pleaded guilty to manslaughter and each got 10 to 20 years behind bars. His troubles with the law didn't end with his release from prison. In February of 2017, he was arrested again, this time for trespassing and smoking crystal meth in a park outside of the Bronx Supreme Court. Now, if you want to be out there smoking meth and doing what you do, why are you doing it? outside of the Bronx Supreme Court. Get away from all that. There's plenty of places in Central Park you could have hid yourself and did that, okay? It's because Central Park is a very big park and you can get lost in there. I'm pretty sure you could have went in there at night because they still be in there cruising and doing all kinds of stuff. You could have found you a nice little spot and did it. Um, why, Don't do it outside of a uh, Supreme Court. That's crazy. Of course, you're going to get caught. Okay, a cop called a cop called him in Joyce Kilmer Park in Concourse about 1.30 a.m. according to officials. Uh, police found a bag of crystal meth, 
and a pipe or residue from the drug in his jacket pocket. So he is no stranger to crime. He is always, he is no stranger to drugs. You know, he's always um, dipped in that and he's always been into crime. And you can see when he got out of jail, he was just into stuff. Um, but yes, that murder was the biggest thing. It was, it was, it was kind of big. A lot of people was talking about it and, um, yeah, his friend hit him in the head, hit, um, Andre in the head with a hammer angel not angel um if you hear screaming that's my grandson um and then michael poured drano down the man's mouth okay down his mouth and taped it up but you know what there was a lot of crime going people you know in the hudson river was that was body city at one point that was body city because people would murder somebody and throw them in the hudson so the Hudson got a little reputation of, of of bodies being found, but I remember that in the news. I remember that years ago about Michael Alleg and his friend, um, his his murder accomplice <laughs> doing that to um Angel, and that was just terrible. And that was the, that was his drug dealer. You know, this guy was providing them drugs. So I don't know what the fight was about. Or whatever the case may be, I'm pretty sure you know I might, I could do a story on him to get a full detail. But I just wanted to bring out some news and let you guys know that he had passed away and just give you a little bit of insight about Michael. But um, yeah, he was part of the club kids culture and stuff like that, and he was he promoted for a lot of different clubs in Manhattan, you know, and you know people. When when you in that scene, that life, you know people, you know where to get drugs from, you know who got what, you know, you know what I'm saying? And he hooked up with Angel and whatever they fight was about, listen, his friend hit him in the head with his hand with a hammer and he finished them off. So it was a it was a murderous duo. Which they didn't have to do that, you know, did not have to take that man's life, but they did. So now here we are. Um with Michael Oleg, he passed away today uh, due to drug overdose, heroin. I know some of you are like, you know, that's good for him. I don't say good for anybody when it, I don't do good for him. I mean, yes, he did wrong. He did take someone's life and he did some other stuff, but I never say good for you, you know, when somebody dies. It's unfortunate that he didn't stop his drug problem and now, the you know, the drug is, is what killed him. But, you know, people have their own feelings about stuff. You get some people who couldn't, you got people who couldn't stand him, you know, who didn't like him, you know, to each their own. I never knew him personally. I just heard about him and I read about him. But, you know, that's what happened. So, you guys, that is my news for today. Um, I did have some other news that I want to talk about, but it was just too much and it... I might just put it on my community post because it was just too much. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later and I hope you have a great day. Bye.